In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how I made this African print souvenir bag. You can see how beautiful it's looking and the finishing is looking very neat. So please watch to the end to see the step by step way on how I made this bag. Please and if you've not yet subscribed to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you and let's get started. These are the materials and the measurements I'll be needing to make this African print souvenir bag. So what I have here is my bag taffeta. You can get this bag taffeta from people that sell bag making material. But if you can't lay your hands on bag taffeta, you can use jean material or any thick fabric you can lay your hands on. So the measurement I have here is 14 inches by 12 inches so 14 inches is the width while 12 inches is the height of the bag i'll be needing two of this so i have my african print cut out big enough to cover this i'll be needing two of these two so i also have my taffeta cut out what i have here is three inches by 14 inches i'll be needing two of this so this is going to serve as my bag handle so what i have here is 12 inches long so let's go to the sewing machine and put this together so i'm going to start by covering my taffeta with my african print with my African print I'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the other part so after covering my taffeta with my African print it's now time to fix the handle so I'm just going to get the midpoint of this This is the center of my bag. From this center, I'm going to mark three inches. From this point to this point, I'll mark three inches. And I'll repeat the same thing here. From this point to this point, I'll mark three inches. So after marking, I'll be fixing my handle from the inside. Remember, this is the inside. And this is the outside of the bag. So I'll be fixing my handle from the inside like this. So from this point, I'm going to place this. So this is the right side and this is the wrong side so the right side will be facing down so I'm just going to place this and sew by half an inch so after fixing this I'm going to bend it over like this So after bending it over, I'm going to make a top stitch on this. So 
after top stitching I'm going to fold this by half an inch I'm just going to fold this in a little and I'm going to top stitch on it fixing my handle on the two sides so you can see our finishing is looking very neat because of the way the method we used in fixing this handle so I'm just going to the next thing to do is to get the sides of the bag the side so I'm just going to measure So what I have here is 37 inches from this point to this point to this point. You are going to measure. So I've measured mine and what I have is 37 inches. I'll be using this 37 inches to cut out the side of my bag. It's time to fix the side. So this is what I'll be using for the side. I have it already cut out. So after measuring my size, my three sides, what I have is 37 inches. I got 37 inches after measuring these three sides. So I'm going to be using my 37 inches to cut this out. So this is 37 inches added two inches extra allowance it's better to have extra and cut out the excess than not to have enough so 37 is my actual measurement after measuring the three sides so i added two inches making it 39 so i'm going to trim off the excess after sewing it's better to have excess than not to have enough so what i have here is 37 inches plus 2 inches by 5 inches so the width is 5 inches while the length is 37 plus 2 inches allowance so after making this after making this side just measure these three sides whatever thing you get is what you'll be using to cut out the side of your bag so after cutting out the side of my bag I'm just going to pick one of this I'm going to pick one of this so I'm going to pick this I'm going to fold this by half an inch and fix this in so I left half inch extra before sewing so i'm going to leave this extra out before sewing so i'll be using this side to wrap up my bag So when you get to almost the end of this, you take your presser foot up and then it like this. Then continue.
so after sewing this i'll be using my pinky shirts to trim off the excess so i'm going to place this on this and continue with the same process So after sewing, remember we still have this excess here, the half inch that we left. So I'm just going to use my pinky shears and trim off this excess. This is all for this bag. You can see how beautiful and well structured it's looking. So this is the inside looking very beautiful with a very neat finishing. Thanks for watching and please if this video was helpful to you do not forget to give this video a like. And if you've not yet subscribed to this channel please do well by subscribing because I have a lot of beautiful DIYs in store for you. So see you in our next tutorial. This is NCM African. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you and bye.